my students uh, today we are going to learn about transponders so transponder is a subsystem which we are using in satellite right so here transponder means uh, it is a transmitter and receiver subsystem okay so here this transponder gathers the signals over a range of uplink the frequencies and retransmit them on a different set of downlink downlink frequencies to receivers on your station okay that is the purpose of trans transponder uh, so here this is the block diagram of transponder satellite transponder from your station we are giving the signal baseband signal will be given so it is given to the band pass filter and then to the lna that is low noise amplifier this low noise amplifier adds some noise uh, to the carrier signal and then it gives to the mixer what is the purpose of mixer so here lo local oscillator is connected to the mixer um, this mixer down converts the signal which comes from the low noise amplifier okay so for example if it is a 6 gigahertz uh, is given to mixer means For low, when we are connecting with local oscillator, we are having two gigahertz. So the this mixer will down convert the frequency. That is six minus two means it will produce the uh, signal as four gigahertz and gives to the uh, band pass filter. Okay. So then again, band pass filter gives the signal to high power amplifier. So high power amplifier strengthens or amplifies the signal and gives to the receiver side your station. okay this is the basic block diagram of satellite transponder uh, so this transponder is a series of interconnected units which forms the single communication channel that is between the transmit and receiving antennas okay so here a transponder bandwidth is uh, 36 megahertz so that uh, 12 transponders can be accommodated in the with the uh, 500 mega hertz bandwidth okay so a transponder a single transponder bandwidth is 36 mega hertz so we can accommodate 12 transponder with a total of 500 mega hertz okay and here when we see this uh, high power amplifier uh, they are using traveling wave tube amplifier okay so traveling wave tube amplifier this is the diagram for traveling wave tube amplifier so traveling wave tube amplifier is nothing but see here this is the uh, cathode and it is connected to the electron gun okay this is connected to the electron gun so in tw t that is traveling wave tube amplifier an electron beam gun assembly consists of a heater a cathode and a focusing electro electrodes which is used to form an electron beam okay so this electron beam is passes through this uh, wire uh, traveling uh, travel along the uh, inside of a wire helix okay then uh, at a time uh, when we are giving rf signal uh, input power is given so input power travels through this helical wire and it produces the output power okay and here we are having the attenuator attenuator attenuates the unwanted signal blocks or blocks the unwanted signal and uh, according to the limits it uh, passes the rf signal power okay so these electron beam and rf signal power are, is, will be collected in the collector 1 and the collector 2 okay when it collects the electron beam and the rf signal power these two signal combined and uh, is, strengthen the signal or amplify the signal okay so that's why uh, that is happening in the high power amplifier okay by using traveling wave tube amplifier okay so here this traveling wave tube amplifier can be used to strengthen the signal or amplify the signal and uh, amplifying the signal will be given to the as i said uh, receiver side or station okay this is the purpose of traveling wave tube amplifier okay so here this traveling wave tube amplifier can amplify over a wide band width um and it also used to strengthen the signal or amplify the signal and it can be given to the receiver side your station 
okay that is all about the transponders and the amplifier used in the transponder that is traveling wave tube amplifier hope you all understand this uh, topic thank you students